What's up, everybody? This is K of the Galaxy Bender coming to you with a virtual on jump canceling tutorial. I did one a little bit earlier, but I think the audio didn't. Uh, microphone was muted or something. Not sure what's going on, but I'll do it again because it doesn't take that long. So, uh, yeah, so this would be a jump canceling tutorial. Uh, there is a guy on the forum that. Uh, Picked up the game, had a question about uh, movement and camera control. So his name's uh, Boom Get Chop 3. So, man, this is for you, brother. I'm going uh, to try to break this down for you, make it painless. And so forth. Oh, let's uh, check, make sure the music's not on. Uh, so you can hear me somewhat. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. Uh, let's check. All right, so music, yeah, music is zero. All right, this is messing with AI, so we won't need to be. All right, so let's go ahead and go on the training. And like, I recommend going through the tutorial if you want to play it too, because there's a lot of like advanced hidden things, like close combat stuff, uh, sidestepping, stuff like that that you'll probably want to know to understand how to play this game, because it's it's kind of, a, kind of unique game, unique and quirky for a fighting game. So I play with a farm B. He's a uh, the battler variant. There's three different variants of that thing. Uh, one of them is based off the version, I think C is based off the version and the first virtual on, uh, striker, I think is like a ranged one. And then B is like the, the one that, uh, is the one that's default for this game that's like designed just to close quarters. So I like to play him and I'll just pick Tim Jin just for, he's usually, they're, they're like the Ken and Ryu to be honest. So let me pick a nice open space so you can see the light. But yeah. So as as you know, uh, yeah, when you move the camera, can't move. So you don't want to do that. Don't use, don't ever use the thumbstick. It was worse than the Dreamcast version because the Dreamcast version had one analog stick, and you had to use that stick to move the camera, and that was the left stick. So, like, you really only use it for small adjustments, but really try not to use it at all. Because, like, it leaves you vulnerable when you're turning the camera. So, that's not easy. That's not a, you're not, you're not using the, just think, think about it like this. You're, just take your thumb off of the right thumbstick because you're not really using it at all. You're not using it to shoot. Like, try to take your mind away from it. It's a shooter. It's not, it's a fighting game. It's, it's very different. It's, it's weird, but just try to wrap your mind around it. And don't use the left analog stick. I don't recommend. I mean, you can, but I don't recommend it because there's too much throw. And then there's there's certain things you need to do, like sidestepping, that requires like you want digital input for it. Like for instance, when you get close, you want to be able to do that. But the game doesn't. The game doesn't have like full three. Uh, it doesn't have full 360 degree movement. So it's only eight way. So it's just better to use the D pad. So, uh, but use whatever you like. So, uh, jump canceling. So, the target, um, you, like I said, don't want to jump. When you're not facing the enemy, or whenever you jump, you'll lock onto the enemy. So, what you want to do is use your guard. A is for guard, Y is for jump. Use your guard to cancel when you're in the air. And if you hold it, you'll come down fast. But if you tap it, if you tap jump and then tap guard, you will just come down right away. And that keeps your target thinner. Say, so, so yeah, I can be anywhere on the map. And if I jump, I automatically target. So you quiet, quiet. So get used to doing that. And then um, you can do it out of jump. So when you're or out of dashing, I'm sorry. You're dashing, no matter what direction you're dashing in, if you jump, you're auto target. You know? So if you need to get away, like shit, and get away, but I need to be targeting. You can do that and you dash that way to see where he is. And, when you in the air, you can make a decision which way you want to dash or what you want to do. You so yeah, so get used to doing that, and then like get used to dash canceling too. So just use left or right turbo to dash, and then uh, and then just tap it again, you'll stop. See, so sometimes that can be good for closing the gap. Like say, if the enemy's shooting at you, they're throwing a hell out you. You can dash that way, stop. Dash that way, stop. Because they think you're gonna. Typically, you go on that trajectory, but you can break it by just stopping. Or you can break it by just jump canceling, so it keeps them having to think about it. So yeah, so that's what you want to do is just jump cancel. It fixes everything. Like even if he's moving, to watch training options. Just make him move. Doesn't shoot. 
Alright, so he'll move around. Yeah, even if he's that way, he's jumping. You're already jumping up. Okay. See, even even AI is going to be bad. So, okay. Okay. you will always stay locked on. So that's what you want to do. Dash, 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 jump, dash, jump, 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 dash, jump, jump, jump. Okay. Okay. No matter where you are, you jump, you a lot. And so just hold A cancel. So yeah. So yeah, so that's jump canceling. And if you want me to show you any other techniques, you need any help, let me know. Because like there's things like sidestepping, see? Sidestepping and back. See? There's different, and then like different lock ranges allows you to do different things. So like, see, this is just a normal lock. When you, you're away from an enemy, you have no lock, single lock. When you get in close combat range, double lock. And that's when you can hold A to guard and do different close combat attacks and stuff like that. Oh, I meant to turn this health on. <laughs> that's like, that was a mistake. Objective. Get ready. Yeah, so let's turn his health off. Hold on. Player off. There we go. And then you can turn slow on too if you, you know, need to see stuff slower. But yeah, so there's different locks. So like when you're up close, you can guard, hold A to guard. That's when you can do side steps. They call it turbo step in the game. But it, it's done weird. Like, it's not how you think it is. And then you can attack while you're doing it. Okay. And attack with your hand. So yeah, so I can you know I can go over that stuff if you want me to because it's a elaborate system. And there's all kinds of other different tricks, uh, ways to hide the shots. You know, crouch for your bombs, like there's all kinds of different things. So yeah, you can roll and shoot. There's, I mean, characters have all kinds of special stuff. They have special attacks. I mean, there's, like, I mean, I can do that. There's all kinds of things that can be in this game. But yeah, so if you want me to go over that, just let me know. the Galaxy Bender, signing off.